how are they forced into this life? How do they um, get forced into this lifestyle? So it's important to make the distinction between um, foreign-born victims and then domestic victims because the reasons are different. Um, as far as domestic victims, usually what we found, at least here at Mosaic, um, that the biggest reason is abuse in the home. Um, so in that case, leaving almost seems like the better option for, for those victims. Um, so I guess you could sort of summarize it as runaways with a history of abuse um, by their parents or abuse in the home. Um, and those are the scenarios that you hear about that really involve situations with pimps and underage prostitution and things like that. Um, there's this promise of a better life. Um, as far as foreign-born victims, the biggest um, thing for them is debt bondage. So what happens is um, somebody promises them a job in another country, let's just say the U.S., you know, and so they're, pro you know, they're told they're going to have a job um, that's going to allow them to support their family in their home country, a job such as waitress or working in a massage parlor but not for sexual, um, not sexual work or anything like that. So um, what happens is they come over and then they're enslaved basically because they have to pay back the... Um, they have to pay back the fees for the trip, uh, they have to pay for their lodging, for their food, um, for all kinds of things. So they're sort of in a, a debt bondage situation like I mentioned. Then there's the shame element. Um, they're too ashamed to leave the situation, to go back to their families to talk about what happened. Um, and then the most common thing is that they're threatened um, by, the, by the trafficker and they're told that if they say something, if they speak up, if they go back to their families or they tell their families what happened, that their family is going to be hurt or that their, somebody in their family will be killed. So all of those elements are going to, of course, lead to fear and cooperation.